people it is manga haul time it is the best time of the month like always we got a big haul it is diverse it has tons of things completed series new series series you've never heard of and maybe even some surprises sit back relax watch the manga haul goodness let's go okay a lot of manga to get through so let's just get into it a lot of things to talk about we got the mat ready first manga we got wistoria wand and sword it is glistening it is glistening it says from the author of is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon i did not know that or maybe i did i can't remember we got kimono jihen jihen number seven these are coming out relatively fast and i'm enjoying them it's been a little while but we have a my hero academia here number 35 getting up there these are also slowing down quite a bit I believe we have my love mix up volume 9 this is the final volume in this series and this is a very good series so I definitely recommend it and it's only nine volumes easy to pick up won't break the bank the King's Beast volume 11 man there's 11 of these that's right this is from the creator of Dawn of the Arcana I know that series so now I remember this one but 11 that is a lot so far call to adventure defeating dungeons with a skill board number six this is generally one of my favorite manga to read it's just enjoyable it's light and a lot of fun things are going on so I, I do like this one a lot we have shy number four four of these already the series is pretty good I think this is the one that's kind of similar to my hero academia obviously not very similar but in in certain ways and then we have my izakai life nine now this is square enix and i complained last time but this printing the change they did is just this stiff paper it feels like your book was wet and then you just left it hard pressed for like a month and now it's fine but all the pages are kind of like a little wobbly and stiff feeling it it doesn't feel great is what i'm, I'm saying but the series is good my new life as a cat what everybody needs in their life keeping on with that here we have i am the evil lord of a galactic empire number two this is a series i'm dropping didn't like it super much pretty mid and then it just sat at the bottom of the tbr pile for so long and i just i wouldn't read like anything over it anything so it is it is not holding my attention it is dropped here's another one i'm quitting hearing number two short-lived for this series one was okay but I don't really like where they're going with the story and I'm not a big fan of how it's gonna progress and it's just not holding my interest anymore because of that this is also getting dropped kaiju number eight the last volume was okay not super great it's you know they're they're definitely going down some and not holding the hype this one was a little better but overall kaiju number eight is all right and i enjoy it as a quick easy read here's one i was waiting for for a while pandora 7 this is volume two and it's a nice chunky volume from yen press volume one i liked and then this volume i i, I also liked uh, uh quite a bit i like the originality of this story and i'm excited to see where it goes it is good so far definitely man and his cat number nine always a staple this series is goaded windbreaker 2 aka tokyo revengers light just kidding this is a uh, pretty good series so far for only two volumes if you like tokyo revengers or the vibe of that i think you will like windbreaker also witch hat atelier number 11 a little bit skimpy there but we are always happy to have witch hat coming through one of the best reads you can read out there ongoing right now. Then we have our first full color here. This is Yen Press, The Abandoned Empress number six. I don't know if you can tell on screen. There is like shiny gilded gold flowers all over this, which makes it pretty bedazzly. This is good. Sign of Affection number seven, really good series. I'm liking these colors here. This is one of those series that it's simple on the spine, but the colors make it just work great the valiant must fall number two i'm going with that one then we have the case study of vanitas number eight and nine continuing with this series really good except we're still with the same problem i have still never got an answer what in the world is going on with these 
stupid spines. We go from blue, purple, and black, which the black looks more gray, and then we go red, 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 blue, black, blue. What is happening? Come on, man. If there's a system to this, please let me know because it's driving me nuts. Okay, we got the Witch in the Night will, will Survive. I thought volume one was okay. It was a it was an okay start to the series, but this volume two is starting to cement in what they're actually doing, where they're progressing, and some characters. So this one was much more enjoyable than volume one, but we needed that volume one to start the series. So only two volumes out of this, and I recommend it, so definitely try it. No Longer Heroine number four, and you gotta just love this face. This mangaka does great funny and emotional looking faces and obviously that is a good one for sure then we have Dan day Dan 5 Dan to Dan volume 5 still going on with this this is a pretty good series so far then we have an meta number 5 J novel club here then we have Akane Banashi number 2 if I'm saying that right this one's spine is kind of wonky that's kind of lame but what are you gonna do only two out newer series try it here is another new series also Tamon's B-Side if I'm even saying that right volume one don't know if my wife liked this series or not she did read it I I think I would know if she did not like it so I'm going to assume she liked it and if you want to know anything about any books or series like always let me know down below keep it on going Comey can't communicate number 27 a lot of these holy smokes Cinderella closet number three still going with that still good quick pause here for my people if you are not subscribed please subscribe when I say that a new thing makes it light up down below which I think is really cool and if you hit subscribe it does little fireworks or something it sparkles so if you want to support the manga sloth and have some sparkle in your life hit that subscribe button please continuing on with Sora and the house of monsters I knew nothing about this series. I literally just seen it on a shelf. That is it. And I picked it up because I thought it looked cool. And this was a pretty dang good series. And the art was good. And I enjoyed it. It is more lighthearted. And while not quite a slice of life it is definitely gliding by there and just being a really enjoyable good solid foundation volume one for a series i definitely recommend this now we have a witch and the beast blob here this is volume volume six through ten these always have real cool looking covers so i, I like looking at them and uh, this series has been pretty dang decent so far this one's a cool one then we have volume two of the horizon this is ICE Press, black and white. This feels like such a solid book. I really appreciate the sharpness and the feeling this book has. It's got the weight to it while not having those super glossy all in colored pages and it, it just feels good in your hands. Make sure if you read this series, you sit down, you buckle up, maybe even have some tissues nearby. This one is a heavy hitter and it hurts. This one has some emotional pain in it. So if you get into it or you can get emotional or you can become easily emotional, this will punch you right in the feelings, right in the feelings. No joke. The Most Notorious Talker, number five. I like this series, it's fun. Mashal, number 13. A lot of things are going on in Mashal now. I'm, it's just a, you know, a decent, you know, fun little series to read, you know, pretty quick. Nothing breaking the mold here. Yusoki Rhetoric, number four. This continues to be really good, for sure. Definitely try this one too. Here we have It Takes Two, Tomorrow Two, volume one, a new series out, printed by One Piece. Books. I didn't know anything about this series. I have seen some rave reviews about it. This one was given to me by One Piece Books to try out. And we did just that. It was read and really actually liked it. So if you've seen what I posted about this on Instagram, it is true. This series is good so far. A very, very solid volume one. And really funny too. Definitely funny. So you want to try something new and something funny? Definitely try 
It Takes Two, Tomorrow Two. Here we have volume six of So I'm a Spider, So What? The Daily Lives of the Kimono Sisters. I believe this is the last one in this side series, unless I'm getting my information wrong, but this was a good side series. Here is a new series, The World's Fastest Level Up, volume one. I'm kind of a sucker for new Isekais. I like trying them. I did try this one. I'd probably say half of the volume was slow, not really bringing me in and blowing me away, but then the last half started picking up and it felt good. So I definitely will try volume two. This was a good volume one. Chainsaw Man is back, finally. Took them, uh, I, I think we can all agree, too long to get to volume 12. I think they were just waiting for that box set to come out or something. I'm not sure what the delay was, but they're back and you know, I, I think they probably could have ended Chainsaw at 11 and it would have been fine. This volume was okay, you know, getting back into it. Just a fun series. Here is another series that is completed. Now, The Girl from the Other Side has already been completed in these singles. These are the hardcovers. This is volume 4, which has volumes 10 and 11, and 12, which is side story kind of things. And look at that beautiful cover. Holy smokes. The black and the gold pop. And this is in a plastic wrap, so this black here is this back piece here is not actually here. It's a black piece with a gold leaf or something in there. Very happy to have these on my shelves I definitely double dipped and I will not be selling these singles because I like this series that much. Fist of the North Star number 10. Holy smokes, this was a good volume and so much important stuff happened in this volume. Really heavy hitting, big stuff. I am still just loving this series so much. I hope they finish printing this and print the other series with his work too because these are just wonderful and awesome reads. The Great Cleric number 5 continuing this. It's good, good, good. Here's another new series, Imitation. This is Yen and press and obviously this is in color and I'll just say I appreciate the in color of this because there's actually backgrounds a lot of these just have white backgrounds white backgrounds white backgrounds white backgrounds while this ain't doing much this purple light background fading away is so much better than just having white 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 it looks terrible that way a lot of times so that is nice about this here is one my wife wanted to try for a while and I finally picked it up don't call it a mystery and she thought volume one was pretty good so continuing with that for sure here we have the essence of being amused this is a yen press one my wife read this and said it was a good volume one death note short stories not new been out for a while but uh you know we all love death note so gotta get the short stories and read them and they were pretty dang good we got two volumes of shangri-la frontier like always if i'm saying that right a izakai into a video game world type deal. This one's fun. Generally, the easy kind of video game worlds are not, not my favorite thing, but this one does it well so far, so I am liking it. Soloist in a Cage number two. Pretty cool series. Continue with that. Then we got a Mob Psycho number 12. It's blowing my mind how this is just not finished in print. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure what is taking so long. I mean, I know it's Dark Horse, and there have been some delays with this. I think I don't I don't think it was going that slow. So here's a cool one Okinawa and this is a Hardcover and it's just this nice little hardcover here and you get to experience this wonderful manga and it's great story and own it and keep it on your shelves finally so definitely try and pick this one up it is great here we have something sweet this is tony valente's the art of radiant now this is in french and in english so it is bilingual so if you are a radiant fan like i know a ton of you are you gonna have to pick this sucker up. Now, like I said, it is in English also. It's got these wonderful colored prints and it tells you about the characters, breaks things down, which is awesome. I'm in the US, I had to order this one overseas, so it had to get shipped to me, but it is possible it's over there a bunch. Definitely pick it up. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.